Hey guys and welcome to EBAT tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about around the net shots with your forehand. That's our favourite shot. <laughs> well, as a left hander, it also is definitely without doubt one of my favourite shots. Lots of players serve wide to my forehand, which is my opportunity to go around the net and look cool, of course. Why is it your favourite shot? Um, well, number one, it's very difficult to return. If you get it right, the whole point of a round the net shot is you get it to skid yes. um, rather than bounce. I mean, I don't think I've ever had anyone return one of my round the net shots. How would you? How, no, I don't think so. Uh, how would you? Do you think you'd return it uh, when it okay. skids like that? Well, this is interesting what you say here because when you've got the ball that goes around the net and skids, that's considered as one bounce, and if someone returns that, it's okay. Where for me, I actually prefer to try and get a double bounce or more. And then I've won the point if possible, yeah. Exactly, I've won the point automatic. Especially if you get those really low ones that bounce like this, it's virtually impossible to return. Okay, so is there any other elements that you think are important about a round net? Yeah, so when you execute it properly, especially when you're playing a match and especially when there's people watching, I don't know if any of you guys have ever done a round the net shot and executed it well, but everyone starts clapping, going crazy, because it's not a normal sort of shot you would see all the time and it really just gives you a lot of confidence and uh, makes you feel good to be honest that's nice. why I love it so much and the funny thing is also some players who don't play the sport and they see around the net yeah. they ask me is that legal is that allowed and the answer is yes you can go around the net you can even go below the net and above and it counts you can hit the ball from anywhere you want any position and as long as it goes on the other side the point counts and continues. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I think uh, finally, as well, I think it's a special shot as well. There's actually an art to this kind of shot as well. It's not just your average forehand. It's, there's an actual art to it. The contact, the way your wrist is, uh, how it is in, in the shot, and you'll obviously see that later on in the video. That's it. Spot on. So there is actually an art to it, and there is different ways of going around there. So we're going to show you a few little techniques of how to go about doing this wonderful stroke. So tip number one, the important part of going around the net with your forehand is finding the angle. As the ball goes towards your forehand, if the ball is in this zone here, it is extremely difficult or virtually impossible to go around the net here because of the distance and because of the curve. So you need a little bit of an angle which then allows you to go around the net here and swerve the ball uh, this way. So, how do we do this? The important part is not to do a normal forehand topspin, it's to go around the ball to generate that hooking motion. And then you can see the ball swerve around and skidding on the table. Down the way. Yes. Let me cut you tell. That's the one. Oh, oh. oh I feel <laughs> Hit my hand. Lower. Yes. Go on, Terry. <laughs> Go on, Terry. Target practice. So the tip number two is how do we practice it and how do we bring it into our, into our games? So Guy, how did you used to practice this kind of stroke? Well, if I was doing it by myself, which I used to do quite often, because I used to love practicing the shot, um, 
will drop the ball in around this zone. And I'll literally just practice by dropping, trying to hit it low and coming around the ball, like that. And, uh, an important thing with that is, is I use my wrist quite a lot, so I get in the composition like Eddie does. But I'm not sure if you use your actual wrist when you come round the ball. But at the last second, whilst I hit the ball, I flick my wrist. It's just to get that extra kick on the ball. Uh, so I'll show you one more time. I drop the ball here, make sure I'm side on. And I just flick round. Last second, arm up and then wrist right at the end. Tip number three is knowing exactly where to contact the ball. So if I do a normal topspin, I'm contacting the ball here. If I'm doing a hook shot, I'm looking to cock my wrist down and go around the ball this way, which then makes the ball spin in this rotation and then swerve inwards. And then I get that hooking motion going around the net. Now, there's three different types of hooks and the better you get the more you can play around with it so if i'm doing a hook top spin i will contact the ball here if i'm going for a pure side spin hook i'll contact the ball there so then that generates just pure side spin and there's some top players such as chris duran and other wonderful players around the world they like to do a backspin side spin hook where they contact the ball there and if you try and get that back the ball literally snaps away from your rubber in a downward and sideways, uh, sideways motion. So it's a great little way for you to vary your hooks. Okay guys, so we're gonna watch the three strokes in action. So the first one I'm going side and top of the ball. You. And again, side and top. So you can see the angle is around 45 degree angle with a little hook. Now I'm going for the pure side spin. So I'm going to hook it a little bit more and have my back angled downwards, which then allows me to go around more. And let's have a look. Again. And the last one is the side spin back spin, which takes a lot of time to practice and get it right but in time you can do it. So this time I cock my wrist inwards this way and I try and cut under the ball. Oh, that was so good! <laughs> so, that's the back one. This is the size of the one. Oh! <laughs> and size on top. No, no, no. Yes. <sighs> Woo! Okay, so guys. That shot, as you can see, is a magnificent shot. And even if you're a recreational player or world-class player, if you can manage to do it every so often, you'll find you get this wonderful little buzz out of it, which I just did a few times there. So um, I think it's, it's a wonderful tool to have in your game. And Guy may be able to give you a bit more advice as to when and how you should be using it. Yeah, so it's, as we said at the beginning, it's a special shot, there's an art to it, but it's also quite a high risk shot. So I wouldn't advise using it all the time. Um, but I like to use it as sort of an emergency shot. So if I'm in a rally and someone's maybe attacking me and they put me out wide and I'm really struggling, the beauty of it is that you can take it late as well. So you can come around and you can potentially win the point from being dominated. So it's a good emergency shot. Um, and also, another thing, your opponent will maybe think twice about putting you out wide on the forehand because if you're able to do that shot, then they'll think twice about putting you there because it's very, very difficult to return. So I wouldn't advise using it all the time. And as Eddie said, when you do use it, you get a massive buzz out of it. And 99% of the time, you win the point straight away. Nice. Great. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the 
uh, tutorial today and obviously please subscribe to us please follow us and share our expertise and we hope to see you on the next video thanks guys